Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am feeling pretty good. I've had an ear infection pretty much all weekend long. It's been a pain in my butt. I still have quite a bit of pressure here on my ear, but I've been popping ibuprofens like a boss. And I thought I needed to at least film a couple of videos today, but I think I'm only gonna end up doing one, but that's okay. I really quick want to do this little get ready with me. So I did make a little purchase that is out of my low buy, but that's okay. I think, I mean, this was $3 and I was so curious. I asked you guys if you thought this was as good as everyone says it was. And a majority of you voted yes. I really, really want to try the green one, but I bought the cream and sugar. I had like four of these in my hand and I was like, Karen, just get one, like try not to be a savage. So I just picked up the one. Rail actually picked this one out for me and I'm excited because I want to test this out against the Natasha Denona mini nude palette. I know Samantha March had mentioned on her Instagram that this could be a dupe for that one and I've never tried that palette even though I have it. I picked it up when I was in New York last year so that was exciting. I got a bunch of Sonia G brushes in the mail. I got the sky set. So exciting. A wonderful, beautiful, amazing subscriber made my day on Friday and sent me the Dominique Cosmetics Latte palette, which I am so, so grateful for. And the main star of the show of this video are my new babies from Cleonade. I ordered these when they restocked in January. I had no idea this was coming. I don't know if I missed the tracking email or what. So I'm gonna swatch the newest row. This is the Vibrant Multichromes. I had a game plan going into the restock. So I didn't buy these on the pre-order. I got them at the restock when they restocked and then also added all these new shades. So I only had money for the Vibrant Multichromes. I had looked at some of the other stuff they were coming out with and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna go for the Vibrant Multichromes bundle and I'm so glad I did because so many of you wanted the Vibrant Multichromes but weren't able to get them because they sold out so fast. So I put the palette in my cart because this palette was on sale for $25 during their sale and then I went straight for the Vibrant Multichromes and I got them. So I'm so excited because I'm going to swatch these for you and then hopefully give you guys an idea of if you want to pick these up when the um, they're doing pre-orders I think the whole time now just to let people be able to pick stuff up. So um, I'm going to go ahead and swatch these guys for you right here. Okay, so the first shade I picked up is this guy, and this is called Thorn, and it's a beautiful yellow. And I'm gonna go ahead and swatch it here next. I just want the camera to pick it up, is what it looks like. I didn't have this camera when I first filmed my Cleonade videos, so I'm hoping you guys are really gonna be able to see what these shades look like. Okay, so here is the next shade I picked up. This is the shade Majesty. It's like a beautiful, vibrant orange. Yeah, and you guys know how much I love green. So this next shade called Courtyard just like speaks to me on like a spiritual level. Oh God. Okay, the next shade is also a beautiful green. This one is called Heirloom. Are you freaking kidding me, Cleonad? Okay, this one is called Lineage? Lineage, maybe? I might just be butchering English at this point. Next shade is a beautiful blue called Crown Jewel. Oh. <laughs> Next shade I have is called Royalty. I think I saw this on their Instagram story and I like freaked out because it was so beautiful. It's like a purple, purple shade. And then the last shade is the shade I have on my eyes today. And I had so much fun playing with this one. This is called Bloodline. And it's like a beautiful purple with like a gold flip to it. 
and I'll try and remember to put the price in for you guys, but I'm officially in makeup heaven. So I'm gonna go ahead and insert some close-up swatches for you guys so you can see them and do a few different lighting options. And after that, I'm gonna show you how I created this quick little look with some of the new makeup I picked up recently. Okay, so today we got some fun makeup to play with. I hit up Walmart with my fam, and I was so curious about these little bite size shadows. I picked up the shade Cream and Sugar. This one, it's so funny. I saw Samantha Marge post on her Instagram stories, and she's like, is this a dupe to my favorite eyeshadow palette? The little Natasha Denona mini nude palette, which I have, and I've never used. It's just like sitting there um, in my collection um it's on the list i think i might do a little dupe video maybe do like one eye with one of these and i saw my friend amy use the little green one and i almost like i was having a bad day because i have an ear infection and i almost like in a haze ordered the um green one <laughs> but i was like okay you have the little nude one try this out first and then you can decide if you want to splurge and get more shades because that's like one of my problems is I like always, like I have the one, why order more? Why bring in more until I know I really like it, you know? So my eyelids are primed and this is the really cute, this is cream and sugar. And so I know my friend Things by the Burke said this first shade didn't even show up on her skin tone. So I think I'm just gonna use that right away in the brow bone. So I'm just gonna grab this brush, tap in, and just throw that in the brow. The green one is so cute. It's called like something jalapeno. And Amy said she really liked it. The thing is, Amy is so light. She's like one of the lightest skin tones. And I feel like she can make a lot of shades work on her that may not necessarily work on me. And so I was nervous because I saw her use the Morphe Making Bank palette and she made that work. But then I saw somebody with tan skin swatch it and I was like, oh my gosh, I don't think that's gonna work for me. So I've just been nervous about, about these things. So I'm just telling you guys. So I basically just put some of the cream shade in my crease as well just to set everything and then I basically thought I could use this brown to kind of go in the outer corners. I feel like small palettes like this totally make sense for the drugstore and I like this updated packaging. I feel like for so long we'd see like the bulky quads and I don't know it was just like so old-fashioned with the black packaging. I think it's Nice to see Elf do something like this. It's like more updated, modern, kind of gives you like that Natasha Denona vibe. So I think that's really cool. And I think this is plenty of shades for an everyday person to do an eye look with. So I'm basically taking the darker shade in the palette and just blending it. So I always start from the outer corner. That's where I want the shade to be the most pigmented. And then I slowly blend it in with a blending brush. So I just want to explain how I do that. I do want to try the shimmer shades in this palette as well, but I got something else in the mail that I kind of want to use. And I kind of want to make this a little swatch party for um, <laughs> those products. So we'll see how it goes. But yeah, this is blending pretty well. I don't think you guys will be able to see that darker shade until I do the rest of my makeup because my under eyes are so dark too. My brows are already growing back. I'm so sad. Okay, I like how that looks. I'm going to swatch the two shimmer shades because I'm just curious about the... Ooh. Those are nice and bright. Oh, 
Elf, really? Let's just watch the matte too. Okay, so that's the cream color. I'm impressed. Okay, I think I'm gonna get the jalapeno one. I'm too curious and technically, I think that will mean that my I'd be going over my low buy. But I kind of like trying out products like this, especially affordable. I've been really into like some of the drugstore stuff because it's a little bit more affordable. So I like to do that. And I think I'll grab the green one on their site and test it for us. Um, but yeah, I just threw that one dark shade in there. And then my next mail on Friday was this one. Actually, I should give you guys a little peek at one of my subscribers i think she knew i wanted this palette and she had bought it i don't know if she just didn't like it but she sent it to me this totally made my day you guys because i was literally contemplating like i'm like eh whatever low buy snow buy like i want it and i think it came to sephora for like a little bit and i resisted and then it sold out and it hasn't restocked at sephora yet so it's like perfect don't need to buy it and then I was gonna get it on Beautylish or I could have gotten it on Beautylish but I wanted to get the new um, Sonia G brushes so I got the Sonia G brushes and I wanted to use the Beautylish payment plan because this brush set is like a hundred and sixty dollar brush set and so it makes me feel a little bit better if I can pay it off in like 50 bucks instead of like the big amount at once which it's horrible, I think, for some people, but it works for me. It's fine. I really like her brushes. I have the original set, and I literally use these brushes, like, every day. You guys have seen them so much in my videos, so I'm so excited that I got these. Um, and I want to see if I can use that today. But, yeah, I <laughs> resisted, and so it was so sweet of her to send me this, and... I think I'm going to do a whole look with this palette in a separate video just so it can have its moment. But I got my new Cleonade palette in the mail. I ordered this in January, the pre-order. And I also got the new formula from them. This is the Vibrant Multichromes up here. So I knew I was getting this palette and I wanted to put all my like special shadows in here. So I, I'm kind of like really tempted to just order like one more shade from Cleonade just so I can fill in this gap. And then I um, want to put in uh, maybe my Multichromes from Sydney Grace and JD Glow there or I'll put in I did order something from a indie brand, so that might go there. I don't want to talk about that right now because I don't know when I'll get it, so <laughs> we'll see. But yeah, I'm so excited about the Vibrant Multichromes. I want to swatch them for this video, but I wanted to try one on my lid. And I don't know if I'm going to wear the green sweater or if I'm going to switch sweaters. This one shade is like really calling to me. Oh my goodness, isn't that gorgeous? Look at, oh God, this is so pretty. I just like got it all over my fingers. This is so stunning. Do you guys see that? This is the shade Bloodline, but I think I'm gonna go in with Bloodline on my lid. And usually they work pretty well with just like a flat shader, but I think I'm gonna wet the brush. I also really wanna get, have you guys tried the e.l.f. Putty Primer? Um, they did like a dupe for the um, MAC paint pots and I kind of, ooh, this is so pretty. And I kind of want to get one so I can use it with the Cleonade. This is so pretty. It's like a purple gold green shadow. Wow. Well, Wet brush is the way to go with this. Wow, this is so pretty. Oh my god. I feel like such a scallywag. I'm getting ready to go to dinner. My husband's family's house. And, uh... I figured I'd just shower after I got home. 
because I wanted to film and then it's like once you put makeup on and you take makeup off it's like a whole ordeal so wow <laughs> I don't know if my camera is doing justice to this shade but it's stunning it's such a beautiful color O M G wow I can see the flip so I'll see if I can zoom in and show you guys but basically super simple as per usual um <laughs> I didn't even need to use my Sonia G brushes so we'll talk about those in a different video but I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of my makeup off camera and I will be right back to show you guys the final look okay guys so here is the final look I kept everything pretty simple on my lips is Maybelline which one is it? This is the one Hannah Louise Post and Loves Raw Chocolate. I love this color. Such a great drugstore nude if you want a traditional lippy. And then I just picked up these earrings from Target. You guys know I love a good Target moment. And they, I think, did some fun like springtime earrings. And I love green, Avi. And so I thought these earrings would really look so cute with the sweater. So that is everything from me today. I hope you enjoyed this quick little get ready with me slash swatch party slash trying $3 little eyeshadow quads from the drugstore slash showing you bougie eyeshadow brushes that I bought that I didn't even use in this video, but it was all really fun. I hope you guys have a fabulous rest of your week. Thank you so, so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video soon. Bye, guys.